Hey everybody and welcome to another RCC2 hacking tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make a Music Express. Music Express can go by that name or Himalaya or some other ones and they're typically built by uh, Birdizon or Wisdom Rides in the US, uh, potentially Mach uh, and some other uh, ride manufacturers. Uh, but the basic premise is a circular undulating track with a ride system that goes forwards and the typical ride programs on these also go backwards. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go forwards, backwards, and forwards again. Um, I've done a little um, enclosure here. Oops. Um, and set mine up like this. Uh, it's about to come into the station here and stop. So it's a pretty simple shoestring uh, to do this. And uh, we're going to use the uh, powered uh, coaster. To help us drive this along and we're also going to use shuttle mode to help us send this forwards and backwards. Now this hack is one that I had first seen from uh, Zarathustra, uh, so credit to him for figuring out how to go about doing all of this um, initially and using the uh, powered coaster mechanic which is actually useful on a uh, number of rides. Uh, so what I've done is set up one over here and we'll go underground here and show you how this one works. Uh, so basically what we're doing is we build a uh, an undulating track and then we're going to build a ride system here this red track that splits the first car off to go down below and sends the rest of this long train long single train uh, onto our undulating track uh, the second station is down here and useless because this is for um, us to get shuttle mode so we uh, we need that we just don't need it useful so it's going down there underground and then our uh, track here is basically a nice kind of narrow compact way for us to get a um, a good layout that works so let's uh, let's go ahead and build this ourselves I'm gonna go right next to this so then we can not waste up too much space here so first things first we want to build a uh, covered area um, actually before we even get to that let's go ahead and draw on some cheats so you do need OpenRCT2 to do this. If you've watched any of these streams, uh, you'll you'll know that as well. Um, but let's go through and we're going to enable everything just because we always do. Um, you don't need everything uh, enabled, but I just do because it's convenient. Except for, as we always say, uh, avoid building it invalid or allow building it invalid heights. Um, that just lets you build with the half tile. Which for this, if you do go ahead and theme this, you may do like I've done here and use the. Um, some of the other tracks here at a half height to give it a nice little walkway. So I've done that with the wooden ghoster track. But anyway, not today. We are going to build this in a clockwise direction. Uh, and first things we're going to do is uh, kind of build up, go down, go flat, up, down, flat, down, and back. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this it doesn't have to be like this um, but uh, to me this one works the best in the most compact location so this gets us a six by six ride um, in general so that's that's about right for one of these kind of flat rides all right so next up we're going to turn on zero clearances here and we're going to build our actual useful station so uh, that's going to go right here uh, now if you try and build a entrance oh, we're good to go there actually um, and then we're going to do two different things. So first things first is we're going to go down. So we'll just head right down to the station. Then we're going to turn this. We're going to flatten it. Turn this again. And then go a couple this way. And then I'm going to stop this because we'll need to tie that in just a little bit later. Since I want to build the thing that we're going to tie into first. Now let's give this a color just so we can keep track of it. Let's give our track a color up top. So we're going to... A look at that as well okay so next we're going to actually delete this first section of station and i'm going to build out uh, this guy so if we get rid of our underground view uh, you'll see i've got this little snaking pathway here you'll see that these two are missing uh, they're not actually missing they're just wild mouse track um, so i can make the tighter corner so let's click on this coaster you'll see down here it's mini roller coaster let's go ahead and change that to steel wild mouse you can do whatever you want uh, with it, but this helps us get a nice little tight corner in here. And 
then we're going to go up one and then you'll notice we can't build anymore which means that we are now merged into this guy so there we are get rid of this turn this back to mini coaster and just for the fact that i like it uh, and then we're going to click on this guy and then actually build backwards into the station so we're building that together and because we built the curve first and the station second uh, that means that we're already uh, set up for our split uh, so what we want is the first car to go down and then the rest of the cars to go down our little weavy path and then up and over onto this okay next up is backing out of the station we're going to do here go down uh, actually go a couple level here uh, the only reason we're doing this is to a fit in all of the length of train that we're going to need so we're going to make a nice long piece here i'm not quite sure how many we need but we're going to just go ahead and do that okay so we've got entrance and exit up here entrance and exit right there and we're good to go on that front you only need those two spots there and next up we're going to grab one more coaster and we're going to turn on our ride height markers here and then go down to negative 15 which is not very far but it's just down enough that it's going to be underground and this is our control track so as our theory of um, these designs go what we're doing is basically splitting off the front car of the coaster coming off of this red track here sending it down to the gray track when it arrives at this station which is station one on this coaster it goes it's going to think that it's in station one on the red coaster and still operate like it would were it going around on uh, the red track uh, the reason that we're going to be going with a shuttle mode is because when a shuttle mode happens whenever the ride gets to the end of a track it doesn't crash so like down here it doesn't crash it actually bounces off and goes backwards so we're going to do a couple of reverse merges here to basically send it onto some different track and now what we're also going to do is change our vehicle that goes down below into a powered uh, vehicle so that we can send this off and do uh, kind of different things with it okay so we built our two station pieces here directly underneath of the other station um, it doesn't have to be directly underneath you just want it within the six by six square so that's that's all you need um, okay so the um here we go and, and now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, start putting some straight track in here lots and lots of straight track so this determines how long your ride is so however big you want to make this is how uh, big the ride will be so we're going to go out to about here and let's see here where did i start this okay and then at this point we're going to turn on the brakes we're going to add an 18 mile per hour brake and the only reason we're going to do this is because uh, we want our third cycle so the cycles here are basically forwards which is this straight section backwards which happens when we bounce off this first point here backwards to this point and then forwards again we want this last section to be the fastest um, so the powered coaster naturally gets up to around I don't know 20 some miles per hour so we want to cap that off here so about this point in the ride is when it gets to that um, uh, say 18 mile an hour range so we're just going to cap it there uh, since we have such a step down here between 18 or 13 and then up to 22 uh, we're just going to stick with 18 and then we'll, once we get a little bit closer here to the edge we're going to actually start to narrow it down so we're going to do two 13s two nines and two fours because we want this to slow down very gradually then we'll right click on the second to last one and delete it we click on our edge here and then we're going to give this a an s bend and we'll come back here and we're going to go ahead and add that brake run back in so that because we built the exit first and then the entrance on top of it um, that completes that merge so now we're just going to go back this way and build ourselves a nice straight section and then i'm going to add in those brakes again at 18 miles per hour just to keep this in check a little bit slower and then once again we're going to go 13 2 9 2 and 4 and 2 and just like the last time we're going to get rid of this last piece we're going to now go forwards again for that s bend and then we're going to drop in that four mile per hour brake run again okay so now we're going forwards once again 
And this is the last one, so we want to speed this up just a little bit. So we have an uh, 18 mile per hour uh, launch track. So it's going to actually get up to 18 plus a little bit. The uh, challenge is we've got a pretty big jump here from 18. So we go from 18 immediately up to 26. I'm hoping this is something that Open will eventually correct uh, as far as the steps go. Uh, so we can have some little bit more intermediary stuff in there. But for now, we're going to stick to 18 only because that means the coaster is going to accelerate up to 18 plus a little faster. So let's keep on going. We'll get this all the way up here. So now we want to slow this thing down just a little bit. So we're going to take off our um, our uh, booster pieces. We'll put a couple straight sections and then we're going to start here uh, back with 18 again. Underground. We'll put like three 18s and then we'll go down to 13. Maybe one more 13. Do this corner. Go down to nine and then two more fours. Um, and that gets us right back in. So now we can connect this. So we'll right click on our right hand piece here, um, which is already at the same level because we've measured that. Turn the corner and then we just need a single brake piece. It doesn't need to match what the speed is here. Just a break piece. You'll see now because we can't click another one that we are good to go. All right, we're almost there. So first things first is we want to change our track type here, or not track type, vehicle type. We want to change those to the wooden side friction cars. Um, and it's okay here. We're not going fast enough to shoot any of these off the top. Uh, you'll know if you go too fast, you can actually crash these. But this is one full train, so it's always down at the bottom and at the top, and we're not going very fast. We're also going to take a 27 car train, just like that. And like we said, let's not forget to turn this into shuttle mode. There it is. Now for shuttle mode, like we said before, you need two stations. That's why this guy is here. Uh, we don't need two stations on the gray track down here on our control because we're just not using it. All right, so we'll click test and then stop that. Actually, we have way too much space down here, but that's okay. So now what we're going to do is pull out our handy dandy edit ride vehicles um, plugin. Uh, this plugin is incredibly useful. Uh, this is by uh, Vasily uh, and I'll put a link to the download of this in uh, the description below. So what we're going to do is select this ride. So this is mini coaster number nine. We'll find that here. And vehicle one, which is this first one here, we're going to change the ride vehicle to powered mine trains. We see we now get the little engine here on the front. So the intention is for that engine to go downstairs and do its stuff down there while the rest of this track or train goes and does its thing on the loop. So let's go ahead and set this to test. And we can see here that we're splitting off that uh, engine down below and the side friction cars are kind of slowly making their way onto the track. We'll take a little bit here for this to get going um, because the uh, train down below is only a single train and all these other vehicles are one 26 car rest of the train. Uh, the momentum on that is quite a bit heavier than the momentum on the lower port uh, portion. We're actually gonna play with that a little bit here uh, in just a bit so we can do some fine-tuning adjustment just how you like it. Um, so here we go. Now it dives down a little bit. We get a little bit of momentum help. And we're actually going to stop here, um, but that's okay because it's not fully run through. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let this go again, and this will finish up our loop. There we go. So there's our loop of track, and here we go off to the races for this little car down below. So let's follow him along. We're at, actually we can do this, uh, follow. This is a nice new feature. Uh, so you see we're already into the brakes here, so we're going slower at 17 miles per hour, uh, which is about what we want. And once we hit the end of the track here, which uh, isn't gonna be too, too far, we're gonna start slowing down to 14, 13, nine, four, and then bump. And now it's gonna go to zero and then slowly back up and accelerate while it does. So now we're going backwards in the opposite direction. So our ride vehicles over there on the ride itself are backing up now. 
going a little too long here. We're going a little fast. We're already up to 20, 21. So here's our brakes. You may want to start those brakes just a little bit earlier, and that's part of the test and adjust. Uh, you can make adjustments to this gray track while the ride is operating. Just don't let uh, the track be missing when the coaster runs over it. Okay, so now's our last transition here. And then we jump onto the boosters. Now the boosters are going to serve to get this up to speed really fast. We've already done that, and now you can see that we're gaining some speed. We're at 20, or 21, 22, are we going to get to 23? Yes, we are. 24. Now, as you can see, we're cruising up top. That's probably a little bit too fast. If you don't want it to go quite that fast, you can put some brakes in there. I think it's fine, especially for RCT. We get that movement going, and it's, it's a good look. So let's uh, stick here then and we kind of watch what's going on uh, with this whole thing. You can see it's kind of doing its rotation here. Uh, and we can go ahead and get rid of this guy. We can make this invisible. So we can just go like that so the ride will continue to run. Now, a couple of things. We noticed how fast the power coaster picked up speed at the beginning. Uh, we don't necessarily have to have it pick up that much speed. So we can have this acceleration actually change. So let's change our step value here to 10, and we can lower this down to, let's say, 50. Um, and that's going to mean that the vehicle takes just that much longer to speed up. Also, if we wanted to max this out at, um, oh, not like that. But let's uh, back to 1, and we'll call this 23 so we're not going too much faster. So there we go. So that way, our max speed for this ride is 23 miles per hour, so we're not going to get that uh, 24 or faster on, on the very end here. So a little bit, not too much, um, and that is the kind of adjustment that you can make. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, it's a pretty simple ride, and the rest is all in theming. Um, the cool thing about this ride is it is a gigantic capacity, um, so you can really pile on the uh, peeps in here. and uh, make some money um, if you need to adjust the stats to get to something uh, that will bring in all the guests you can definitely do that in the console as well well that's all we have for today uh, hopefully you enjoyed it let's go back to our little home version here and see what we've got so uh, next up we're going to fill this little area right here uh, and then move on to some other things beyond that if you have rides you'd like to see hacked or you've seen some in another park you'd like to see how it's done, uh, feel free to leave me a message asking for one of those or two of those to be done and we will add it to our park. As we zoom out here and take another good look at our park, we've done uh, quite a few. I think this is number 22 maybe uh, in our ride hacking tutorial series. Uh, we're going to fill up this whole park and then we'll release it uh, once we're done. So more to come and uh, we'll certainly tailor it to your suggestions if you have any. So until next time, thank you guys very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye now.